Hi all, welcome to the new episode of Tech Insert. Today we are going to make a salt water battery or salt water cell. Whatever it is, yeah, it is making use of common salt. Chemical name is sodium chlor chloride or NaCl. For making this, we need two metals. One is zinc. Either we can buy the zinc from the shop or we can take it from these batteries. I will show you how to take zinc from these batteries. And the other metal is copper. This copper uh, thing, I, this is a copper tube that I bought from, from online store. I will sh sh share the link in the description box. Uh, you can buy it from there or we, you can buy these type of copper things from a uh, from a AC repair shop or some, some other place. Some corrosive uh, things are there. It is a, you can see a, 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 a layer of um, uh, oxide layer is there. We will clean it. Or other uh, technique is you can make use of uh, uh, soldering, bit soldering bit is made up of uh, made of copper there is a chromium coating on top of it you can sand by sand it sand sand, sand it using a sandpaper and so you can make use of it uh, another thing is you can make use of wiring cable wiring uh, wiring cable that is at um, four square mm wiring cable we have, and you can unsleeve it and use it that is also pure copper do not use copper coils because those coils are insulated do not expect that we will get three volt or five volt or nine volt or volt from this uh, this kind of uh, uh, batteries we are, what we are testing is whether this kind of uh, things that is two metals and salt water is capable of generating voltage or not this is only a testing purpose whether it is possible or not if it is possible then we our future idea is to seriously connect more batteries together to form 3 volt or 5 volt let us start taking sync from this battery uh, safety is our highest priority always wear a gloves before dismantling this kind of chemical batteries because I, I, this blue color gloves I am using, uh, it, it is a powderless gloves, uh, white color uh, gloves uh, contains a powder, a kind of powder, but that powder is allergic to, uh, to my skin. So that is why I am using this uh, blue color uh, powderless gloves. Uh, we can just uh, uh, remove the outer shell from this battery. Uh, when you are dismantling this kind of uh, chemical batteries, always wear a spectacle for the protection of your eyes. The outer shell, that is not a metal thing. It is a plastic sti sticker, which is sticked on top of the zinc metal. So we have to uh, the, remove the plastic sticker from this ma metal and then clean, clean it up. It is not that much easy to remove the sticker from the zinc metal. It's a very tough job. I will do it and come back. I have removed the sticker and some pieces are still there that we will remove later. When I try to open it, uh, it becomes short and now the outer shell is very hot. I am unable to touch it. So uh, when you are opening this kind of alkaline batteries, be careful because alkaline batteries are having very high ampere. Now I have opened it. Uh, you can see this is the, the metal which is connected to the negative terminal and is inserted to that black thing. That black thing is actually manganese dioxide. Uh, which is uh, which is acting as the uh, electrolyte or chemical thing which is uh, uh, inside this alkaline batteries and the outer shell is the zinc which is acting as the positive terminal after i pull out this uh, negative terminal uh, then only the heat reduced that much time it was very hot i in sometimes i i uh, expected that my gloves will melt because of that much heat because very much very 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 it was very hot when you are dismantling this kind of batteries, expect very much hot or chemical reaction from this kind of batteries. Please be careful. I don't, I don't know what this is, but this was also inserted to that uh, manganese dioxide paste. We will clean the copper tube using a sandpaper so that the uh, oxide layer which is on top of this copper tube will, uh, will be removed so that uh, the salt water will be having good conductive layer with the copper thing.
I have cleaned these two metals and now what we will do is to do a continuity test on these metals. How much area is uh, cleaned or not that we can only test using a multimeter uh, and do a continuity test. Uh, it's uh, the continuity test is very simple. Uh, some uh, the in sink uh, uh, sink uh, metal you can see it's not properly cleaned. Uh, that is uh, some areas are still corrosive, uh, but no problem. We can we are done right now. We are only testing it whether we can generate voltage or not. So the continuity test is uh, very good. You can see on all part it is showing the continuity and in sink area also so almost all area it is showing sink uh, continuity but in the, that bl black area it is not showing but it is okay. And I have connected the wire in these two uh, metals. Uh, I, I have may make use of ribbon wire or flat wire. Uh, two wires I connected thoroughly. If you are having a crocodile clip or something, uh, we can make use of or we can even solder the wire to these metals. That is also possible. You can select the one which one is better to you. I have taken this glass bowl for keeping the salt water. Uh, do not use any metal uh, metal bowl for, for this purpose. Um, you should use something which, which should, be act, should be acting as a good insulator. Now we will put some uh, salt on it. Uh, in, uh, in our home, we are using pink salt. That is why the salt is having pink color. Pink salt means it is a uh, Himalayan salt, that is our rock salt. You can make use of white salt also. Now we will pour some water on it. I have placed a small supportive base at the side of the bowl using a folded tissue paper. This is because my tabletop is having slight slanting, otherwise water will spill over. We have to thoroughly mix the salt with the water, slowly, gently uh, stir it well so that the salt will completely dissolve in the water. This is salt water. You are doing this in your electronic studio. If this water is spilling over in your electronic tools or components or even see the multimeter is near to you, then it will become damaged easily because the salt water will help fast corrosion to metals. For easy dipping, I have bent the copper pipe and shortened its length. Now we will just insert these two metals into the salt water and we'll check what will happen. It is generating 0.156 voltage. That means our experiment is a success. It is generating some voltage. It is not showing zero. It is showing 0.1 volt. When we are comparing this voltage with a 1.5 cell uh, volt cell, then it is very less, but still it is generating something. So now what we, we will do is we will add some catalyst into it. The, this is hydrogen peroxide that is six percentage uh, concentrated hydrogen peroxide that i bought from my nearby medical shop this is used for medicinal purpose so we will pour a small amount of hydrogen peroxide on uh, into this uh, mixer that is salt water then let's measure after that we will measure how much voltage it is generating Now you can see it is generating 0.25 voltage. Uh, it has now raised from 0.15 to 0.25. And you can see it is uh, it is keep increasing. So we can wait for some time to check how much voltage will be generating. When we added the hydrogen peroxide, you can see some reactions are happening there. Uh, I can see some bubbles are coming from the copper and zinc plate. Much bubbles are coming from the copper plate, uh, but uh, a, a few a few bubbles are coming from the zinc uh, plate. But some reaction is actually happening there. What type of gas is coming out from the from these metals? That I do not know. Those who knows that, please comment on this video. Voltage has now become zero point. 
259 it is keep increasing and the now reaction is also a bit high in uh, copper plate because so many bubbles are coming out from the copper plate uh, we will wait for some time so that the reaction will be very high and uh, much more voltage will be generated i have waited for more than half an hour now you can see the number of bubbles coming out from the copper plate is much much higher than earlier now we will test the voltage you can see it. now it is showing 0.320 which is pretty pretty good the voltage is still increasing so what i am planning is to is to wait some more time now you can see the reaction from the copper and the zinc metal are a bit high and the color of the water has also changed now the voltage has increased from 0.320 to 0.348 now i will wait half an hour more after half an hour you can see that the reaction has uh, reduced much much less there is no reaction you can see nothing is happening there I, we will check the voltage now and you can see now it becomes 0.359 which is uh, which is pretty high voltage comparing to the early one i will short circuit the terminals now and will check what will happen now when when i am short circuiting it becomes zero when i am releasing it is showing some, uh, greater than 0.3 voltage which is very good now we will short circuit and check what will happen here just watch over here when i am short circuiting and uh, nothing is happening i cannot see any reaction uh, happening at the metals uh, and the water uh, salt water but the color of the water has changed earlier it was white color now you can clearly visible the color it is uh, having a pale orange color now i will do one thing i will short circuit the terminals and wait for one hour and after that we will check how much voltage it is generating and check the terminals and the water condition and all, everything so after half an hour one hour i will come back if you like this video please click like button and also share to your friends now it is more than one hour and uh, we will check how much voltage it is generating now uh, before that you check the color of the water it has become orange color that means some more reactions has, has happened i don't know what how, what makes this water coloring as orange i i don't know but the thing is the terminal is shorted for more than 1 hour still it is generating voltage which means the cell will deliver power to the load for a very long time when we are checking now also the voltage is increasing now it becomes 0.3 volt that means our battery is working perfectly fine we can uh, but the voltage is less that is the only disadvantage i can see in it and also i don't know how long the sink and the copper will be stay like this in the salt water because salt water will definitely make it make these metals corrosive now i will assume a bit more to show you the condition of the water you can see uh, the water has become dark orange i cannot see any re reactions happening now but something might be happening that that is not visible to me and also the copper and uh, copper uh, i will uh, pull it outside you can see the green uh, green thing that is copper copper oxide or something as uh, uh, is there and sink i cannot uh, see any much reactions happen to it there is no co much color change normally sink is a bit less reactive uh, when comparing with other metals might be that might be the reason i cannot see much reactions happen to this zinc metal my future plan is to make 10 to 12 this kind of cell and connect them serially so it will generate more than 3.5 volt and will connect it to an led then we will check how long it will light up if that is lighting up for uh, th th 5 or 10 days it will be more good because uh, using cheap things we are generating voltage you will get all these metals from the scrap shop so this is cheap only if you like this video then please click like button and also share this to your friends please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this that will be an encouragement to me for making more things like this to you this is tech insert signing off see you in another video till then goodbye and please take care